Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I hope all of you are having really happy life and a beautiful life. So, uh, I would like to come up with another topic. It's um, about relationship. So relationship, it could be with your family, with your relatives, with your mom, dad, or friends, or whoever. You know, relationship is a really, really, really beautiful thing that all of us are in need. So, um, the main focus which I'm gonna talk about is the relationship between you and your parents, between the parents and the children. So, uh, you know, if you wanna have a really happy family and a mutual understanding and a kind of warm-hearted and a beautiful and a positive environment, first of all, you need to create a very beautiful space in your own home, your own house, with your family without further extending with other friends or whatever first we have to create a really beautiful environment among your family so for that uh, first point is observation is really really important so it could be in all the relationship but yeah even in a family it's really really important observation observation uh, between you and your children between you and your parents it's really really important to observe each other so observation could be in any direction or in an aspect so the second thing is listening so listening is one of the main important thing in the world because these days people become really busy googling all the time texting to each other even if we are close or even if we are staying together we keep on holding the phone and just wasting all our energy and time with the phone instead of just sharing our thoughts and sharing our beautiful moment with each other even if we call up each other for hey come over here we just spend some time together and have some fun the main concept is really beautiful like come over have some fun stay together it seems like oh my god we're gonna stay all the time together and sticking each other and sharing and listening to each other but it hardly happens so uh, observation listening yeah listening to each other it could be about any topic no matter what whether it's good or bad negative or positive somehow you give time to listen to each other because listening really helps you to understand other people and to know better so the third thing is conversation yeah conversation or talk is really really important not just through texting face-to-face -face conversation and just eye contact and just being presently like physically emotionally being together and talk and you know there is something really touchy point over there so sometimes you can just have a try instead of texting or calling just call over and then um, stay together talk listen there are lots of beautiful things that you will learn from each other so the fourth thing is giving chance giving chance when sometimes yeah of course um, lots of children they uh, commit mistake and they fall into many ups and downs but it does not mean that that's your final and full and final thing that you could never be able to recover it's not like that sometimes it's better to give chance no matter what giving chance is really essential it helps us to motivate inspire and just giving some hope for the better choice so it's really really important you know sometimes your children might make some mistake and don't give it up just just relax and say okay it's okay it happens but I want you to do something you know putting some more effort and try to bring some positive you know positive um, achievement it's okay if you fail at least try like this you can just give some time or give chance either to your parents or to your children it's really really important and the last thing is spending time okay that's the pinpoint spending time if you wanted to know other or if you wanted to know each other really closely or if you want to go closer to that person dealing is much much important without dealing it's really difficult to uh, recognize the person you can hear lots of things from others about the secondary person or whatever you can hear a lot about the uh, you know just by talk or from the friends but if you really wanted to know that person 
you have to approach and give time and talk to that person particularly. Suppose if I am good to you, it does not mean that I'm good to everyone or if I'm good to other people, it does not mean that I'm good to you. So it depends on the circumstances, situations or in like, depends on many reasons. But after dealing or after spending time, you know, time is really important. We are selling our time. Like you do work. For working, you are selling your time and you are getting some money for that in return. So the most precious gift, I consider for me the most precious gift is to give some time uh, to gather and, you know, spend some time for listening or to whatever it's really 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 important so there are five key points that is observation talking or conversation or listening to each other or giving chance and spending time these are the five important thing i know there are many more important things but these are the basic things that uh, you should practice if you want to have a really good relationship in your between you and your children because um you know in this contemporary world uh, everybody becoming so busy and uh, the parents they are really getting uh, busy with the job and the company in the whatever in the business and the children they are really getting busy with their academics and they are really less time to get together and have some good time even if we are together sometimes most of us just sticking with the phones and um, wasting our precious moment of gathering uh, so that's all I think these points can be applied in any relationship, but if I focus on a fa family, then these are the points which you can keep in mind and maybe you can try. So that's all for today. And if you want to hear more about any topic, you can just leave the comment down there or subscribe or like the video. And hopefully see you next time. And